Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Sundland. Governor Ned Lamont is expected to hold a news briefing at 4 o'clock today with an update on the coronavirus response efforts in our state. We'll bring that to you live on TV, on Channel 3, and on our Channel 3 news streaming app, so you can always find it there. Here's a look at where the numbers stand today. There are more than 13,000 confirmed cases across the state. 602 people have died from the virus. We've also learned from the State Department of Corrections that the first prisoner has died from the coronavirus. The department says the inmate was a man in his 60s who did have other health problems. Many universities have issued refunds to students and they're now taking a big financial hit. The University of Connecticut is now taking cost-saving measures. UConn's president, Tom Katsoulis, announced a spending freeze and hiring restrictions. These emergency financial measures will be in place until the university has a better sense of the impact from the pandemic. Mohegan Sun has announced that it will remain temporarily closed through at least April 30th. The casino says it will continue to work with the Mohegan Tribal Council and the state of Connecticut to monitor federal health and safety guidelines to come up with a reopening date. All right, and weather-wise, for the rest of our Tuesday, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds at times, more clouds and sun, and there's going to be a bit of a breeze. Temperatures today top out in the, say, low and mid-50s in many locations, so a little bit below average by about 5 degrees. Normal high is 50, and there could be a couple sprinkles that work into western Connecticut. Otherwise, much of the afternoon is dry, and then as we head through the overnight hours, a developing storm system passes offshore. That could bring us after midnight and toward daybreak tomorrow, some scattered rain showers. In fact, a little snow may mix in across interior Connecticut, but that's not going to have a big impact whatsoever and by noon tomorrow it's done and over with clearing taking place thereafter so uh, for our wednesday temperatures top out about five degrees cooler than today then only mid 40s and breezy thursday dry then for friday rain chances increase with perhaps a little more snow again across interior connecticut and the higher elevations as we close out the week for the upcoming weekend saturday breezy mid 50s the better of the two weekend days as skies become partly to mostly cloudy on sunday with at least a chance for some showers Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.